Okay, so your students will download Socrative Student, and you will download as the teacher, Socrative Teacher. So when you first open up Socrative Teacher, you're going to have to either join and create a new account by either using your email or you can sign in with Google. So go ahead and sign in, and I'm going to sign in as well right now. Okay, when you first sign in, it's going to give you a number at the top. My number is 415-591. That is the number that your students will use when they are logging in so that they can either take the quiz, the space race, or the exit ticket. You also have options down here to where you can ask a quick question. So that's totally up to you as the teacher. Once you get more familiar with Socrative Teacher, you'll be able to utilize these options more frequently. Notice that we are here at the launch along the top here. This is where you would launch either a quiz, space race, one of these six options from the launch area of the app. When we talk about quizzes, this is where we're going to create our own quiz. This is the default room that has already been created by Socrative Teacher. If you upgrade to Socrative Pro, you can have up to 10 rooms, and there's a lot more different features that you can utilize with the Socrative Pro, but you can utilize this app with the free version. Your reports will be located right here, and then your results will also be located in this area as well. Okay, so let's go back to the launch. So starting with an exit ticket, you will click on the exit ticket. It's going to ask you whether to show names, show answers, and then you can see these different questions here. So we're going to click on the questions, and it'll show you what these questions are. How well did you understand today's material? What did you learn from today's class? It's a short answer question and then another additional question from the teacher. So now that we have launched this, I'm gonna show this from my iPhone, what the students will see. Okay, so I'm gonna enter that number that was on the Socrative Teacher app. I hit the join button, and then I also have to enter my name. And now I'm automatically into the Socrative student. So you can see this is the question. I'm going to answer these questions, submit my answer. And then I submit my answers. Okay, going back to the Socrative teacher app. Okay, so you can see up here in the upper right hand corner, you can see that one student was located in here and it tells you how many students are there. Now when you are finished giving your students time to do this, you'll click the finish button and you can either view a chart or get reports. Now I wanna get the reports because I wanna see what this looks like. From this point, you can figure out how you want the report to be sent to yourself. You can either choose an Excel document or individual PDFs for each student. Then you would just email it to yourself. If you want to show the names, you can see right there. If you wanna show the answers, my answers will be located right here. You can click on each question and you can see the reports. There's my answers. And so that's how Socrative Student works from launching a simple exit ticket. So going back to the launch, let's start by talking about how to create a quiz. So you click the quizzes button. You're going to click the orange add quiz button. You're going to create a new quiz. Create your quiz title here. You can choose whether or not there is a multiple choice question. You can add a picture to this. This would be where your question would go. And then you have your answer choices right here. So this would be my first question. And then my answer choices. And I'm just doing this really quick for tutorial purposes. If you want to X off one of the answer choices, you click the X. And then make sure that you hit save. You can create true or false questions or short answer questions. When you're completed, you'll click save and exit. Now I just deleted a quiz that I previously had made. Now when you're ready to give this quiz to your students, they log in using that room number at the top of the screen there. You'll go to the launch, you'll click quiz, and then you'll choose the quiz that you want to give your students. 
you click that button, you click next. Me personally, I always use instant feedback and then it's going to give you additional settings on the right hand side and then you click start. So just like when we created the exit ticket, Socrative Teacher allows you to create quizzes and get instant feedback and it also can grade those answers as well. So you can get instant feedback about the questions that you want your students to answer. Now I'm going to finish this because we're not utilizing this right now and I'm going to show you the space race. So clicking the space race, you then would give your students the opportunity to participate in a team quiz using the space race. So you then would click that and then you would give them more of a timed response and it gives them a game opportunity to go along with that. So let's see what this looks like from the teacher's perspective. You just need to choose the quiz you want your students to use. You can give your students a number of teams, so we'll say two teams, and then we're going to click start. And it then will have a class race to see who can complete the quiz with the most answers correct and also uh, in the quickest amount of time. So it takes both of those into account. When you click finish, that means it's going to end the game completely. And then I'm going to go back to the launch screen. If you ever want to give out just a quick true or false question, you click that true false. And that would be one of those questions that you would just ask out loud or you would have your students uh, look at a question that you wrote on the board or maybe a smart board or something like that. So that is the basics of Socrative Teacher and Socrative Student. It's a very easy to use app once you get used to it. It's one of those things where you just need to start utilizing it and start becoming more familiar with the app before you utilize it in the classroom. Okay, if you have any further questions, feel free to contact me at Corey at classroomtechmadesimple.com. We'll see you next video.